Welcome to My Side of the Internet. My name is Mark Anthony, and in today's video, I'm going to show y'all all of my new in for the month of January. Well, technically, new in since Christmas up until yesterday. Today's January 13th. I'm done for the month, um, but I want to show y'all what I picked up. I got some pretty good stuff. Let's start off with the Zara sale. Now, with Zara this year, I spent about half of what I did last year. Last year, we were over $1,000. We probably hit about $550, $600 this year. We're a little bit more intentional. If you watch my Shopping Mistakes video, you know that's something I'm working on this year. But I got some good stuff. Actually, I think I got a lot of basics um, that I'm going to show you. So I'm not going to belabor the intro. Let me just get started with the stuff. So first up is these Mulberry Silk Shirts. Now, if you're not new here, you know how I feel about silk shirts. I'm a silk shirt. I'm not going to say a collector because I really do think they're good basics. What I love about silk in particular is that I find that when you layer it, it kind of whispers under whatever you have over top of it, a blazer, a jacket, whatever. It's just like really light and flowy. And what I like about this particular mulberry silk is it kind of has this like matte, uh, flat texture to it, uh, almost like it could be suede as opposed to that like char is it charmeuse? Charmeuse silk, which kind of has that like um, soft to the touch, shiny feel. These to me provide a little bit more edge. So I got this one in black and this one in this sort of camel beige color. I got them in a size medium, just in case you're wondering what my size is. Continuing with the trend of silk is this green silk shirt with these utility pockets on the front. This reminded me so much of like the late 80s early 90s, New Jack Swing. Um, if, if you've ever watched the Martin sitcom in the early seasons, I feel like something, this is Tommy, there's something Tommy would wear with like some high-waisted slacks. I love the early 90s uh, in terms of style. I just watched Boomerang recently. I would have worn every outfit Eddie Murphy wore in that movie. Just great style movie. I think it's pretty underrated for style, but I love a good utility pocket. It's just such a throwback. Also in silk, I think I paid $80 for this one uh, in a size medium too. The next up is this, uh, oh, this is actually, let me turn this around because I steamed it. And when I steam things, I will usually steam it. Oh, it's actually not inside out. That's just the design. Okay, I got it. But when I do steam things, just a pro tip, make sure you steam inside out so you don't ruin the integrity of the fabric. But anyway, I picked up this blue um, striped shirt with this uh, white collar and white paneling going down the front. This gave me that very coastal granny vibe. I'm gonna pop up some pictures of like Diane Keaton because she, to me, rocks the coastal granny look. But um, yeah, I wanted to pair this with like some beige off-white slacks. Um, I was looking for a shirt like this this summer and couldn't find the perfect one. And then Zara dropped this one. I actually got it in a size large instead of a medium because I wanted to, it to have like a slightly oversized effect. This is also something I might wear to the beach as a cover-up. Not a cover-up because what am I really covering up? But you know, something I might wear to the beach just to give it a little bit more of a tailored um, look at the beach, I don't know. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but when I checked the site yesterday, this shirt was actually still available. So hopefully by the time the video goes up, you'll still be able to get it. Plus I'm noticing lately that Zara is doing something different with this tag. This says Man Berlin Edition. This green shirt said Rivoli Paris Winter 23. How to investigate what these tags mean. So next up was this short sleeve um, utility pocket shirt. Now, I often don't buy a lot of short sleeve stuff. To me, it's one of the ways that I save. But the reason I got this is because I have another white shirt from Zara that I wore to death this summer. I pretty much had the same outfit on for most of the summer. And it included that white shirt. And when I took it to the dry cleaner, I was like, I need another white shirt that I can rotate just in case this one is in the dry cleaner. So I saw this one and it is in Lyocell. A few months ago, I did a keywords to search when you're um, shopping on a budget video. And in that video, I outlined some terms to search when you're on like fast fashion sites. One of the key terms that I forgot to mention was Lyocell. Lyocell fabric 
feels really luxurious. So if you ever come across it, just a tip there. But huge utility pockets on this one. But this is going to be something that um, I'm definitely going to rotate this summer, or even before the summer. I don't know. I picked up this green suit. It is 50% wool. The jacket is in a size 40. The pants are in a size 30. Again, with that tag, I don't know what Zara is doing. It says Man Sartorial. If you know what they're doing over there with this, let me know in the comments. Maybe it's the internal brands or something like that. But anyway, I am a suit collector and I'm rotating a lot of my bad suits out of my wardrobe. I'm never going to turn down an opportunity to get a, a decent quality suit. So, Plus, I feel like Zara really slipped with the suits in the past season. Usually during the Zara fall sale or end of year sale, I will get two or three suits. I only got one this year. So I don't know what's going on over there. They were slipping with the suits. Now, every year I have that one item that I absolutely have to get. It's usually the first item I save to my Karma account before the sale hits. And this khaki lightweight technical trench coat was that. Now, the only thing with this one is that it's, it's oversized fit. I'm just can we talk? I'm a little over the oversized fit thing. I, I, can we just go back to normal fits? But anyway, it's in a size small, medium. When I checked last night, it was still available. Of course, I will link it below if it is. But um, yeah, just a great long line technical trench. I have another one that's Ralph Lauren, but it stops right above the knee. I usually wear that to like work related events. Um, and so I wanted something that was a little bit longer, more edgier. And so when I saw this one, I thought it was great. It's a pretty decent fit. I may get it tailored a little bit, but um, we'll see. It does have this like slightly wrinkled effect to it, which I think is pretty cool. So, and out of all the trench coats I have, and I have quite a bit, I don't have a long traditional khaki one, which is crazy, but now I do. And the last thing I got from the Zara sale was this like little bucket um, I don't know, crossbody backpack kind of thing. I'm not really that into bags, but I do carry a backpack everywhere because I got stuff I need to take with me. Um, but I saw this one and thought for the times that I don't have to take a lot of stuff, maybe I should get like a smaller bag that I can also carry on my back. So this one is actually cool. Let me see what this looks like. Yeah, so it's like a nice, like, I don't know. Is this, would this be considered crossbody? It's foam lever, obviously, and it has this little drawstring here. Let me see, I don't think I looked inside. Oh, it's one little panel pocket inside that you could probably put something in here. Yeah, decent amount of space. The, uh, what is this, the hardware is a little plasticky, but considering how I'm gonna be using it, that's fine. I mean, right, we are almost done. So one of my favorite places to shop second to Zara, if you're not new here, is ASOS. And I've been shopping at ASOS for years. Lately, I've been kind of, like, it's just haven't been hitting the way it used to hit. Like, I used to get really excited about my ASOS stuff, but not so much anymore. But the last two items I got from ASOS hit so hard. Let me, let, me, let me just show you. First up is this 100% leather trench in brown. It's, it's like washed brown. And this was originally $279. I got it on sale for $110. It's pretty heavy, pretty substantial, but nice buttery leather. This looks so good on... Oh, by the way, I got this in a size small. I don't remember if they marked this as oversized or not. I don't think they did, which is why I got it in a size small. Usually when I get real leather from ASOS, I will size down because real leather will mold to you over time. But this has to be one of my favorite purchases of the year so far. And to get it at that crazy discount, I'm trying to tell you all. Now next up are these silk satin pants that I picked up. I think these are also, no, these are not available. Um, these fit so well. I got these in a 3130. Usually I would get a, uh, 3030, but I didn't want to risk it. I said, let me just get a slight size up just in case I need to get them tailored. And these fit perfect. Um, the, uh, uh, what is this called? The, the waist, the 
waistband. The waistband um, is also really stiff, giving it that really nice luxury feel as well. These are kind of a relaxed fit, not wide, not slim, but relaxed, I would say. They fit so well. Okay, we're almost at the end. I only have two more items. The last item is this faux leather puffer that I got from Macy's just yesterday. I cannot stand puffer jackets. It is probably my least favorite article of clothing. I hate puffer jackets. And I particularly hate them because I'm very mobile. I'm always out and about in the city, walking, catching the metro. I'm all over the place. And I find them to be very constricting. They cover the butt, which makes walking a little difficult for me. Not difficult, that's an exaggeration, but annoying. So when I saw this one, and it has this um, drawstring situation right here that allows you to crop it or not, um, so you have the option to crop it. I got it in a size medium. It's pretty substantial. Um, the hardware is also pretty substantial too. This is still available, so I'm going to link it below. If you are in the market for a puffer jacket, I highly recommend this one. People sleep on Macy's. People sleep on Macy's. Let me tell you all, their International Concepts brand has great stuff, and they're and now this brand. Sometimes you'll find some great stuff in that brand too. You need to be going to your local Macy's. I've said this a million times. But yes, this puffer jacket probably has to be um, the best one I've found so far. I feel like I'm buying a new puffer jacket every year and I get rid of one every year. So hopefully by this winter, I still got this one. But yeah, I wore it yesterday. I will say it's warm. It's warm. <laughs> it is a very warm jacket. So... Um, I was a little hot uh, by the time I got home, but that's what they're for. Now, last is going to be this pair of Air Jordan. I do not remember the name. It's like Comfort Zoom One anything. I, I, I forgot. Uh, but they are in this gray, beige, matte black color wave. I've been wearing a lot more sneakers lately. If, if you would have known me five, seven years ago, you would understand how crazy this is because I was not into sneakers at all. But um, Jordan 1s are probably one of my favorites. These have to be, out of my entire collection of about seven, the most comfortable. And they have some special, like, comfort, flexible technology or something incorporated in them. Anyway, these are super cool. I wanted a pair that had, like, a gray tone to them. So I picked up these. I'm actually gonna be wearing these today on my way to brunch with this outfit. Um, but yeah, these were, I don't know, 120, something like that. Um, y'all know, y'all know how much these are. And that's it, that's everything that I got for the month of January. It is January 13th today and I will not be buying anything else for the rest of the month. I just went through this whole video not clapping and now I'm clapping. I gotta figure out why it is that I clap anyway. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel inclined. I would love to see you come back. Let me know what you think of these items in the comments, and I will catch you on the next one.